Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How is everyone doing today? So, for this video, we are going to be going to Black Ops 3 again and taking a look at what happens to Kane after she dies. Uh, so, for those of you who don't remember who she is, she's this character right here during this cutscene. This is uh, on the last mission where she dies. She goes into the room to uh, investigate the Nova 6 gas canisters, um, but then all of a sudden it was actually a trap and the Nova 6 gas activates and starts flooding the room with it and this is where she starts dying and it was obviously a trap set by Corvus and Hendrix I believe um, I don't remember the story of the Black Ops 3 off the top of my head but um, she just uh, slowly dies here and all of a sudden the door just closes uh, right before she drops dead completely so we're gonna take a look at what happens uh, what else happens after that? What happens behind behind the scenes, I guess? So to, to uh, do that, we are going to go to the PC version of Black Ops 3, and we're going to use console commands to allow us to get inside that room while Kane is dying, and take a look at what's happening behind the scenes. So right here on this part of the mission, it's a little tricky to do this, actually, because even with... Um, the console command we will be using is called noclip, which lets you fly around freely. But during this cutscene, it's actually not convenient to fly around because it actually prevents you from looking around with the camera. It like locks your camera in like one position. So it actually takes a few tries to kind of get it just right, at the right angle where we can see Kane clearly. Uh, so once the cutscene activates, um, we just have to find the right moment to get a good angle. And if anybody has like Black Ops 3 on PC, you could also feel free to try this yourself. Um, but so here we are in no clip. Um, I'm gonna switch back as the cutscene's loading now. Uh, so here Kane goes inside, and right here at this moment is probably one of the best angles you could, a good angle you can get. Uh, you could also play around with different timings to get different, um, to get different angles to see Kane a little bit better. But this angle should be sufficient for this. So here the cutscene is going on now, and she is starting to die now. Um, so right now we've already seen this in the regular cutscene, and here's where she starts puking. And then now the the gate closes, and now we see her last few extra seconds of her um, the last few moments before she completely drops dead. Now her body actually despawns if you stay outside and then you fly inside but if you keep the camera focused on the body during the whole cutscene the body will not despawn it will actually uh, stay here and we can actually get a close look up at what her dead body looks like um, so as you can see the Nova 6 gas um, completely like showed up her face essentially but the rest of her body is actually fine um, it's only the part that we really see during the cutscene but that is basically what happens to Kane in her last final extra moments that we don't get to see on camera. Uh, so obviously sh she still drops dead, but her body actually despawns, but we were able to prevent the despawn this time around. Um, but yeah, so there you have it. That is uh, Kane's final moments, I guess, and what happens to her afterwards, which is either A, she despawns, or B, she um, she remains like that. Uh, but nothing else happens to her really. But yeah, it's just a interesting thing to take a look at, um, to see what happens like off camera sometimes. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, as always, make sure to leave a like. And if there's anything else you need to check out or look into, um, like I said, it could be any game you want. Um, just let me know in the comments, and I'll do my best to look into it, of course. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.